Hey everyone, Paolo here. So welcome back to just another dang how-to channel. So welcome to the part four episode of the Salesforce DX series. Uh, on this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to set up JSON Web Token to authorize Salesforce DX, uh, so we could automate all the process. Um, on the previous tutorial, just a recap: what we did was we push our code to GitHub and we made a manual pull request to the uh, staging environment. And then we went back to DX. And from here, we manually converted the source app, uh, source DX format to the metadata format. And then we push this to the target org. So all of that needs to be automated when we want to use some CI CD in the future. So let's get started. Um, there's two types of authorization. One's the web base, and the other one is the uh, JSON web base, uh, JSON web token base flow. So with this one, you don't need uh, any uh, interaction with the system, but you need to pre-authorize the system. You need to do some pre-setup steps so you could automate this process. So the first thing that you would need is you need a client certificate to upload. Uh, on your connected app. So on the documentation here, um, that's pretty much step by step that you need OpenSSL if you don't have it. So on a Mac, this is pre-installed. Uh, you could use Homebrew if you want to install the latest version. So basically what you need to do here is you need to create a key and then from that key you need to create a server certificate request and then finally issue a uh, certificate all of those um, could be done in one step which i have here which i'm gonna walk you through so here i'm saying use OpenSSL, request a new certificate uh, notice is just to keep it silent and this certificate is good for 365 days I'm going to create a new key with an RSA of 248 uh, bits encryption and the key out is going to be called the server key and the out will be called the server CRT on a CHA256 algorithm so if I do this uh, it's going to ask me some items to fill out so just go ahead so I'm going to say New Zealand uh, put in a company name and put in an email address and that should be it so if I do a list you'll see that I have now two files here so server CRT is what you want to upload to Salesforce on your connected app and then the server key is what you would need to connect uh, but on this we're gonna encrypt this uh, server key in the future so go to salesforce to the target org that you want to authorize yourself with so go to setup and go to apps on i want obviously i'm on classic so go to apps uh, click on new under connected apps and fill out the mandatory field so i'm gonna give this uh, connected app a name youtube dx and fill in the contact email and under API enable OAuth settings uh, click enable OAuth settings and for callback URL um, go back here on the documentation and copy this URL paste it in and enable use digital signature and then search for your CRT file and then for OAuth enable the following uh, this one uh, refresh token and web and then save cool take note of the consumer key we're gonna need this later so I'm gonna copy it Put it somewhere that I could use later and then uh, what you want to do as well is you click on manage and click on edit policies 
and for permitted users change that to admin approved users are pre-authorized click ok save and you could assign a profile or permission set for the user that's coming to use this uh, authorization so i'm just gonna stick with my system admin user for now but you could create a permission set just for this one and then assign a user to that one uh, once that is all good uh, you could go back to um, your uh, dx and from here you could try to authorize yourself with the um, JWT token. So what I have here is this command. I'm just going to quickly fill it out before I paste it on the command line. Cool. So what I have here is SFDX uh, force auth JWT grant. So this is like an abstraction to do the callout. So you pass the client ID, which we just copied, and then uh, the key file, which is the server key. So I got that path from here, which I'm on my uh, terminal. If I go to type in PWD, I'll be able to get the path. So that's the path that I entered here. And then the username for the org that I want to authorize with and some parameters to set, set the default hub username and set uh, alias. If I enter this, if all successful, I'll get this message that I'm authorized. So that's how you set up a JSON web token and authorize yourself. So if I quickly change org and to the hub org, close that out and I quickly say sfdx force org open. This should open up the um, org that I want, that I've just authorized myself. So that should be it. Um, on the next tutorial, we're going to cover how to, um, instead of converting the changes here, we're going to create some uh, GitHub actions and set this up so we could have everything automated on GitHub. So if you like this tutorial, please thumbs up. If you have some questions, leave the comment below. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye for now.